Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. As you know, we're in the middle of silage season. And we have quite a bit laying here that we got cut yesterday. The boys cut a head. We didn't get it chopped yesterday, but laying here like this, it's okay. If it was piled up in a big pile and start getting heat, probably not good. Like this, it's fine. Very cool evenings right now. It's getting down in the 50s at night. So other than being sopping wet from the heavy Tennessee dew, they're ready to go. And that don't matter either, except the poor boys get wet when they load. You'll but probably notice they wear long sleeves this morning. But anyway, I'm very excited about this day. We're gonna get this knocked out. We still got some to cut here. I'm gonna leave some standing for ear corn. And then we're gonna get over in the other field and start cutting. Pretty excited about this evening because well, we got the neighbor's boy helping us and they're gonna come over and eat right here and we're gonna have a good time. So let's get into it. As you know, I start every morning by packing the pile just in case it took a breather. The object is not to make the pile look big as possible. The object is to make the pile look as small as possible. That takes a dose of humility because we all like big piles. All right, we're gonna take this thing apart and spray it out because it's starting to smell like cornbread and fried chicken. And it seems to be sl slowing down. It may be getting a little sluggish. Well, tonight fried chicken might be okay, but now we have no time and place for fried chicken or cornbread. And I know that shocks you. Silage is making me say a lot of things I've never said before, but hey, we gotta take care of it. What are you looking at, old man? The smell of fried chicken gets you going? Huh? You smelled that cornbread and fried chicken? You didn't smell it? Well, there ain't hardly no junk in there. That thing clean as a whistle. Where's the fried chicken? Put it in the bottom. Hmm. Yeah, I think there's fried chicken in there, but it's clean. Hmm. Yeah, nothing's getting hot. This right here would be getting hot. It's warm. It's not even barely warm. And that thing weighs 220 pounds. Two. Now, well, can you explain what you just said for the regular American audience? I said word. Oh, oh. You fixing to go to work? There's only two rows left to cut there. Can you explain that again, sir? But. That ain't your machete, bowl. 
Now I'm just looking at it. Well, when I get this put back together, we're going to go back to work. I know already he didn't take that apart right, but hey, I'm not going to get in the way of a boy get, getting down and getting some progress. I mean, yeah, he might have took off three times too many bolts is what needed, but so what? Let the boy work. <laughs> Let the boy work. He can put it back together. All right. You don't have to look for your machete. The boys will give you your machete. I'm sure they know where it is. They put it down. What can we do this for? Eat it. That's breakfast for I you. Can't eat no Son, your false teeth won't chip. No. Oh. You need a leg replacement. No, I don't have a leg replacement. Get you a poke berry, son. These people don't believe poke is even good, son. So many of them. Some do. How many poke did you say you eat every day? Four birds a day. Have you ate your four yet? Not today. I, I, I have to wait till I sleep. Wait? Why? Because I don't have to. No, that's it, man. There's about 5,000 of them right mistake. here. Why do you have to wait? I this is the. You ain't never ate poke birds off this bush, have you? No. Well, see, that's why you're not famous. This is the famous poke bush. <laughs> yeah, this poke bush right here's got infamy. So. You've seen that? I've seen that. How do you do it, son? How do you do it, son? You come from the, you come from the circus, <laughs> man. You a clown. You a circus clown, son. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you gonna have to get to work for it, so. Where are you going in there for? Get my machete. You found it? No, it's not that. Ha ha! Hey, I can use that. No, you can't use that, son. <laughs> you can't use that, son. I gotta find my machete. Hey, boys, where's his machete? He's going cuckoo over here. It's in the truck, probably. It's in the truck, son. Truck? Yeah. Well, you passed it up when you come down here. It was right there. It was right there. Somebody. Hey, friend. You took your machete home yesterday. Yeah, but I brought it back and put it right there this morning. Who grabbed it? That ain't it sticking in the ground right there? No, that's a... Did any of y'all use it? Somebody must have used it. it was right there Go look by the four wheeler, son. The case of the missing machete. I don't know if that's yours, son. Is that the right one? Wait, see. What? I can't see. Paint. Paint. Is that your initials? That's my initial right there. Well, I be. I and it might Now, what do you mean? I go down here and start? Hey, it don't matter to me, son. There's two rows. You right. might want to ask the boys where they're going to start. That way you can run to the other end and not get your arm chopped off. They're going to start down there. How do you know? Uh, ask them. Hey, guys. <laughs> Y'all going to start here and go down and go up? They already started down there. Oh, I see there. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go. Bye bye. <laughs> Make sure you don't cut no more than two rows, because that's all we got left. Two rows, no more. Can you count to two, son? Yeah. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with this corner. I can't eat it though. I ain't even got false teeth and I can get it. I know, but I can't. That's delicious. Last year he sent his wristwatch through the <laughs> wood chipper. <laughs> mm, I'd say when you milk the cow now you can hear it ticking inside <laughs> oh Man, it was warm right against the bearing yes boy i'm glad we're getting it do we need to spray it or is it good uh, i don't know it's kind of hard to get to it is the water off i've only got one row of corn left <laughs> you gonna try it? Why not? It's good. Are you oh. a bubble poofer? Are you a bubble blower?
becomes a dangerous proposition. That goes without saying. But since I said it, don't do this unless you're very, very cautious. Many, many men have died packing silage. That corner gives way, rolls that tractor, down you go. You end up being underneath that tractor. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that. So I'm going to be careful. This year, it's dangerous. The higher you get, more and more. So let's be careful. Holding it from the other side of the property. All the corn you see standing is going to stay standing. We're going to pick at for ear corn. Now, they're cutting probably the yellow Guatemala. I'm not sure which field they decided to start in. We'll find out. Did you start on the big yellow, yellow Guatemala field or the, the, uh, the big field? The big field, yeah. That's yellow Guatemala. The field that don't have no soybeans. Okay, just about right. Yeah, I think so. In just a very short while, it's going to be time to eat. We're going to set up a table with some nice I don't know if nice chairs or not, but we're going to be having some picnic right here. That's why I mowed that grass. But in the meantime, we go to keep working.
smile real big. <laughs>